De Hunden in Siglet. Trivia. Sorry if I butchered the film's title. Ingmar Bergman's main source of inspiration for the film came from a few of Akira Kurosawa's period films, which Bergman was a big fan. Bergman wanted to make this film to overcome his crippling fear of death. And on the semi-subject, Bergman spent most of his time writing the screenplay of the film at Stockholm's Karolinska Hospital while recovering from a stomach complaint. The script was rewritten about five times after being rejected. After the release of Smiles of a Summer Night in 1955, Cannes started to open up to Bergman. This film is a first that actor Max von Sydow and film director Ingmar Bergman collaborate. The two have worked together in 11 other films in the span of 14 years, 1957 to 1971. Von Sydow, Eckerot, Bjornstrand and Andersson reunited in another Bergman film, The Magician, a year later. How uncanny! On the same year, Bergman released a film called Wild Strawberries. Niels Popper was a famous Swedish comedic actor at the time, so the role he took as a jester was quite appropriate. This is most likely a reference to the Gospel of John, chapter 19, verse 30. When we had received the drink, Jesus said, it is finished. The church in this scene is not really a church. It's a model that's hung up by a dead tree in the foreground. As Terry Gilliam would say, It's only a model. Speaking of Monty Python and the Holy Grail, Monty Python has lampooned the film for its fantasy elements, as well as another film released on the same year, Love and Death, and Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey couldn't help but lampoon the film too. In the final scene of the film, Bergman saw this particular cloud formation in the sky. In order to capture this scene with the cloud formation as quickly as possible, he told the actors to wear the costumes again and improvise the final scene as much as possible. Some of the actors here you're seeing in The Dance of Death are crew from the film or stand-ins from tourists, as some of the actors that were supposed to play these characters have already left. The iconic scene of Night and Death playing chess came from the Tabby Church in Tabby Municipality, Sweden. The painting was painted by Albertus Pictor in 1480s Sweden. And for over 500 years, the painting had to be repainted over during the Reformation. In 2009, the chess pieces used in the film were sold from Bergman's estate for around 1 million Swedish krona, which is the equivalent of 145,000 US dollars. With a budget of $150,000, it was filmed over a period of 35 days. Russian rock group The King and the Clown released a song called Henry and Death which contains some elements of a hero who loses a game of chess to death, clearly inspired by the film. In 2018, BBC Critics Poll ranked The Seventh Seal 30 of non-English speaking films. The film was one of many submissions for Best Foreign Language Film of the 30th Academy Awards in 1958, but didn't make it to the final list. Bergman has directed over 50 films in his career. This film is one of Bergman's own rare favourites, as well as mine. Yes, this was a short video, but I really wanted to tackle this film. I wanted to show my love and appreciation not just on Hollywood films, but foreign films from around the world. The Seventh Seal is one of my favourite foreign films of all time, and I wanted to thank the cast and crew members that have taken part into making this film come together. It was because of this film my love of foreign films has started to open up a gateway, and I'm very thankful for the light it has shed upon me. That's all the time I have for trivia. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, well, I couldn't really find an appropriate tagline for this film. So instead, I'm going to quote a good line from the film. We carve an idol out of our fear and call it God. We must your as it be later for Redsla. And the be later, it's going to be for good.